Hello, everybody. Uh, welcome to DevNet Lightning Talks. And uh, today we are here to uh, talk about um, cross-work network uh, controller integration with external systems using APIs. Uh, my name is Srihar Shadanekula, and I'm here to talk about this particular lightning talk of integration with external systems using APIs. The agenda of today is just, just a brief overview about the goal, and then I'll give you an introduction about what is Crosswork Network Controller and a 10,000 foot view of the architecture that we pursue. And then I will explain you few use cases or the common use cases which are practical implementation in the real life today or like how the service providers are using us in their real-time environment with integration with their external existing systems using our APIs. With that being said, I would like to start off by saying that service providers are considering a futuristic approach towards network automation solutions. The biggest challenge today that is being faced by the SPs is to tie in the existing systems with the new elements that are coming in. Crosswork network controller is built to solve this particular challenge. And it is designed in a way that it helps to integrate with the existing systems that are already on the network and then learn the uh, take the data from it and then use the data and then implement a certain actions that you try to do. CNC is flexible, customizable, programmable, and very much open. You can customize it the way you need it and the way you want it. In this lightning talk, you will understand how the customers are integrating their existing systems with our CNC using our APIs. Once we review the once we review these implementations, you will understand how the customers are uh, like achieving their operational efficiency when they do it. And with that, their operations are very much error prone and very speeded. Operational simplicity begins with network automation. Mass scale networks must integrate automation to reduce the time to market their services or to troubleshooting or to get the live real time data and then do the network, network service adaptations in real time. CNC is designed with this modern approach of low touch operations. As you can see, CNC, this is the overall CNC. And then the, the devices are on the southbound here. And the data from the devices is learned through, is collected into data gateway. Now these, de these, de these devices can be third party devices, Cisco devices, everything. So we are like uh, multi-vendor and multi-domain. Uh, we support multi-vendor multi and multi-domain. Once the data is collected, it gets to the data gateway, and then it's normalized. Once it's normalized, then it gets into the common layer, and from the common layer, it goes into different applications, depending upon the use case that you want to try to implement. And these, currently in today's session, we'll be talking about health insights and change automation. Not only these applications, we also have other applications like service health, automated assurance, optimization engine, and those kind of things. And for example, in certain use cases, if you want to interact between two applications on the same CNC with APIs internally of the system, you can do that. And system is programmed to do it that way. And not only these two applications, but the rest of the applications as well. So once the data is received at the common layer, depending upon which application is subscribed to it, the data gets destined towards it. For example, if the data is going to Health Insights, the data is destined to Health Insights. And um, what is Health Insights? Health Insights is like you collect your data and then it runs, you pre-configure a logic, saying that, for example, your CPU is above 50%, you want to get an alert. You know, when the data is collected, it looks for the CPU. It only looks for the CPU subscription and then says, okay, CPU is more than 50%, I want to raise an alert. It would do that. The, raise, the alert is raised on the UI and then the alert can be forwarded to any external systems. Once the alert is raised, you want to take a corrective action you can do it via change automation. Change automation is a set of uh, playbooks and uh, it would push all your config changes from change automation to NSO and through NSO it would just go ahead and hit the device and NSO would have a idea about what's happening in the network. 
So overall, every you uh, the operator would never touch the device. The operator would automatically see the UI of the CNC and all the applications and all the operations would be done from the UI. Now, in a general operator's uh, uh, day to day, there are many UIs, right? So we can integrate Crosswalk Network Controller using our APIs into their existing dashboards or existing systems. Like an example is a service now, where we'll be looking at. So um, this is all publicly available information. And these are our APIs, and this is the whole ecosystem. You can go to devnet uh, um, developer.cisco.com slash docs slash crosswork, and you would find all the information. And these are all the APIs of different applications and those kind of things. OK? With that being said, let's get started into the use cases. So this is one of the use cases that I would like to explain today, which is um, implemented in one of the largest service providers throughout the globe. Typically, what happens here today is the existing uh, IPS and IDS detects some malicious traffic, and it raises a service ticket in their internal system. So typically, uh, whenever there is an identification of a malicious traffic that happens, a ticket is raised in ServiceNow, which would provide the information of the malicious traffic. Now, the malicious traffic can be from a single IP or from a range of IPs. Depending upon it, the the ticket is created, and the operator would look at the ticket, grab the information, just the IP address or the range of IPs, and then use it in, a, use it in the same form and push it from the service now itself, by, not by changing any screens on the same screen on single interface. He would push it. Behind the scenes, what happens is it takes the CNC's API and it pushes the playbook. Typically, what happens in this scenario is with that IP address, it's configuring an access list on the routers. So all the configuration, all the things are taken care of behind the scenes using the APIs. So everything an operator looks at is the UI of ServiceNow, where he gets a ticket. OK, this is the IP address. He takes it. He puts it there. He hits Submit. Everything is taken care of. In five minutes, the access list is configured, and the traffic is blocked. Uh, this is a second use case that I would like to talk. This is being implemented by one of the APJ's uh, uh, big service provider. Typically, what's happening in this case is they are a, um, uh, the router can receive the bandwidth net notification messages from the switch. So whenever um, so these, these messages are, again, standard-based, which, which includes the current bandwidth and the nominal bandwidth. CNC will be processing these BNM messages over telemetry, ingest them, and whenever there is a discrepancy of the pre-configured logic versus the learned data, it's going to raise an alert. Typically, in this case, what happens is they're trying to monitor the microwave links which are out in the field. So whenever there is a change in weather, like a, let's say uh, there is a rain today, and then the configured bandwidth was five, but it, fought, it, it went down to three, and it was reporting three, three gigabits. Then typically what happens is it will open uh, an alert like now because there's a considerable change. An alert is raised on the CNC UI. Typically, the alert gets forwarded to an internal ticketing system where an internal ticket is created. Once the ticket is created, it provides with all the relevant information. And then on the same thing, the operator makes an API call using the same ticketing system. And then he's going to go and configure the QoS on the router to meet his need. Like, uh, he can just set it to 3 once, um, because he just learned to 3, so he can set it to 3, and then there is no interruption of traffic. Typically, that's what the customer here wanted to do. Um, this is another external, um, uh, another use case, which is implemented by one of the bigger uh, enterprise banks in uh, United States. Typically, what they are trying to do is they're constantly monitoring, they're constantly learning about the network, about the BGP peers, BGP neighbors in their network. and uh, they, they try to see that the neighbors are always intact and there is no change in the number. So whenever there is a difference or like whenever there is a discrepancy, whenever the BGP neighbor goes down typically, an alert, the, the data is learned from the routers and it's processed on the CNC's UI. Once they see the neighbor going down, an alert is raised and this alert gets again forwarded to any HTTP endpoint. Typically in this, uh, they have an internal system called uh, uh, I forgot the name, but um, it's an internal ticketing system 
which gets there. Uh, oh, sorry, it's the pager duty. So once the operator gets paged, that enabler is down, he would run an API call from the same pager duty to, a, to the CNC, and it would go ahead and collect a certain set of show commands. Typically, that's their use case. So they are going to collect the set of show commands, and then they are going to save the show commands outputs, and then they are going to run, uh, execute few config changes in order to meet their needs. With that being said, those are the three use cases that I want. Uh, I would like to uh, explain today, and uh, most of the use cases are similar in similar in fashion or in the similar lines. And uh, we have a couple of relevant sessions for this. These are DevNet workshops that we are having it on Thursday. Please do attend, and uh, you can try the service now. The example that I just mentioned with hands on. So we have two sessions. One is uh, CNC integration with service now to do a closed loop remediation thing. And the other one is health monitoring, which is an integral part of lifecycle management. Typically, you can, uh, in this session, we will uh, deploy a layer 3 VPN tunnel. We'll enable all the required stuff to monitor the health of the layer 3 VPN tunnel that we deployed. So you guys can try this out hands on. when, um, And you can see the way the APIs work and how easy is it to learn it and play with it, and or to build new systems on top of it. Uh, with that, I would like to conclude. This is a small intro session, which uh, gives you an overview of uh, the CNC, and then how practically we are implementing the integration with external systems using the CNC's API ecosystem. Uh, if you would like to explore more, uh, as I mentioned in the previous slides, you can go to Crosswork Developer Documentation, which is uh, developer.cisco.com slash doc slash crosswork. Uh, we have a DevNet blog post. Uh, this is the product information. And then you have the API collection for in, a, in the Postman format here. And again, we also can provide you in a GitHub as well. So, uh, Please do provide your feedback. This helps us um, do more relevant sessions for you guys and uh, get a hoodie. With that, thank you. Thank you. <laughs>